guys welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be installing some hair from Nayo hair company and on Amazon actually this is some butterfly locks yes my mom always wanted to try locks and we decided to put some butterfly locks in her hair and just to give her a total transformation so this was supposed to be a what is in a collaborative uh, effort with me and my sister like she like do the hair and i do the makeup but we were filming away and uh, yeah i just told her just take charge of everything and uh, i was the person behind the camera like trying to edit it plus edit my videos and it was just you know an entertainment entertainment entertaining moment and we just you know enjoy the moment to just do her hair and give her a little bit of pampering and so forth so this is what we are doing today we're going to be doing her hair and her makeup like half the video is going to be dedicated to hair and half of the video is going to be dedicated to makeup and guess what my sister is going to show you she's going to show you her technique when it comes to crochet braids or crochet locks because i know that a lot of people want to try like crochet locks and they want to do it by themselves but guess what when you install crochet locks by itself do, using the the braided method it doesn't stay it doesn't stay i'm telling you it doesn't stay yeah it doesn't stay me personally i tried it and it didn't stay so my sister had to like braid my hair over and do the crochet um method at the front but as you can see this is her braiding pattern at the front she just did some small braids at the front and corner at the back and what she's basically doing now i'm going to show you uh sorry about the oh my gosh i was trying to focus but she's using the crochet method with the braided um the little small box braids at the front she applied the crochet um, hair, the butterfly locks, onto um, my mom's hair. And then basically what she's going to do now, she's going to take like the hair, my mom's natural hair, and kind of wrap it around the crochet locks. And she's not going to leave it like that because it's not going to look good and it's not going to last long as a matter of fact. What she's going to do now, she's going to get a piece of um, Afro kinky braid our afro kinky hair and she's going to use the lock method to wrap it from the root of the hair and then she's going to slightly wrap it closer towards the end of the the crochet lock itself but you're going to see it as yeah practical as possible all right so let's let's begin so as you can see she's applying the hair she's getting the crochet uh the afro kinky hair and she's using the lock method she's wrapping it around at the root of the hair so as you can see she's wrapping it around at the root at the root of the hair and uh, if you notice as soon as she 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 is getting like closer towards the the end of the hair she's not going to like wrap it really tight because she still wants that butterfly the butterfly look to you know be there but she wants the root of the hair to have that real like you know lock from the root vibe so it doesn't look um obvious that it's like crocheted you know what i'm saying because the idea of doing crochet locks is not to for it to look less um what do you say now less real i should say the idea like doing crochet locks is just to take away the time that you would used to actually lock the hair onto your head so in order for it to have that real lock look you have to start it you have to lock the hair with like um afro kinky hair or any hair of your you know choice to just ensure that the front part has the lock look and i realized that when it's done that way it looks a little bit more natural but really in truth and in fact you don't have your entire hair in crochet locks just the front 
and this is like so super easy to pull out and it's also a good diy and a lot of people don't like to sit down personally me i don't like to sit down and do my hair like this method I, I don't know if i can do it like neat as neat as possible i mean if i try and just dedicate myself but i don't really like doing my hair like braiding my hair by myself like if i have to do it i have to do it but i would prefer someone else doing it for me because you know i think it's a little bit better but i know that a lot of people like to do the like their own little DIYs and so forth but sometimes at the end of the day it's not as neat as if someone else would or is doing your hair but as you can see from the root it looks like my mom has like natural locks like from the root lock hairstyle from the root but this didn't take a lot of time this like was so fast and then she just basically use the crochet needle to just install the other crochet um butterfly locks and you're going to see it but let me just stop talking here and let you watch the rest of the video until before we get to the makeup portion okay guys as you can see we're doing the makeup she's just going in with her 
um, eyebrow pencil she's using a spoolie and she's just keeping her natural brows as natural as possible because she doesn't my mom doesn't have any brows and then basically she just used some concealer to clean it up as you can see the brows are like pretty natural then she's using like the shadow uh, not the shadow the foundation the contour shade to kind of use that as a base before she goes in with any eyeshadow and she just basically applied all of that all right and uh, that is pretty much it for this portion what she's gonna go in with now she's gonna go in with some um foundation and i'm not really sure what foundation she went in with but i think this was a good match for her skin complexion so for it oh as you can see she's just applying some powder to she's just applying some powder under the eye area mm-hmm yeah uh yeah now it's time for the foundation she applied the foundation onto her face my mom's face takes foundation my sister was like this is her first time actually doing her my mother's makeup my sister is a makeup artist but this is the first time she's actually doing her face because my mom doesn't wear makeup like she doesn't really like wear makeup when i was growing up all my eyes the only thing that she used to use was like she used to wash her face with soap with a particular soap like face soap for acne and so forth and then she would go in with like um a vanishing cream and then sometimes she would go in with a little bit of pressed powder and that's it and lip gloss that's all so my mom is not really a makeup makeup person i mean you would consider that makeup but it's just a little pressed powder and lip gloss that's it no eyeshadow no brows and nothing like that like pretty simple so as you can see my mom's uh, my sister is using a phone uh, concealer under the eyes very very like nothing too bright yeah she wanted to give her like a full coverage kind of look i mean she didn't go into a lot of foundation but it might look like a lot on camera because my mother's face sucks up um foundation but she applied the amount of foundation that she would apply if she was going in with a like a full face of makeup like full coverage kind of vibe yeah it wasn't like natural per se like this is the type of makeup that you can wear to an event okay the look is natural looking but you are doing full coverage you know what i'm saying yeah and then she went in with her powder this is the benai banana powder and she used a little bit guys the smallest amount yeah so this is what i like when she's doing like makeup on others she's very like she's not she doesn't really use a lot of product and i don't like personally i don't like white under eyes like i don't think it looks good in your mind it might look good in your mind you might think it looks good but it doesn't like i hate when people have white under eyes like it doesn't look good to me like it doesn't look good and i just hate it i today we shouldn't be doing that um that type of makeup because it doesn't look natural and it's not like realistic like i always see a lot of people and there's one particular person that actually always does that this person she's from the uk but she always used this uh, conce her like her highlighting shade is always too white and sometimes it looks weird and i'm like constantly i like her videos but i'm like why does she have to use such a white powder like it's too white under the eyes and then it looks weird like yeah i don't know i just don't like it just ignore me ranting but as you can see she just went in with a little bit of like the yellow powder just to give it a hint of brightness but if you notice my mom's skin complexion is still the same if you look on her face and the neck it's still the same and uh, she's just basically you know applying a little tipsy bit of like contour shade under or uh, on her nose just to define it a little bit and then that's pretty much it uh everything else is self-explanatory i'm going to show you and so forth my mom's gonna get some lashes and so forth but my mom is not used to lashes and so forth so yeah and then i'm going to kick in you're gonna see me kicking in with my i'm going to do her contouring because i like to contour and i love she's like getting tired now because she's like oh my gosh all of this for what yeah but uh, i'm going to step in later on with the contouring and the highlighting because yeah that's my i love i love 
defined contouring i like when the cheekbones and my mom has a lot of cheekbones so i think that she needs like defined contouring like her cheekbones are when you do like makeup on her type of face the cheekbones are like literally cut you can literally see them and then she just smiles and you see all that good you know cheek yeah so you know the eyes are was a little bit a struggle because my mom eyes were they were watering because she's not used to putting like anything under the eyes so it was watering even when my sister was adding the lashes it was just watering away but you know my sister like you know told her to like the technique that is necessary to whenever you're, you're dealing with eyes you have to like look up but while my sister was applying the Thing, my mom was just looking down looking down my sister was like look up look up and she was like pushing up her face but my sister was like no don't look up use your eyes to look up so that was like a little technique that she was trying to you know tell her whenever anybody's doing your eyes and as soon as I start doing the eyes just look up and it will prevent the water from like running and so forth but guys just continue watching this part I'm going to shut up because I've been talking too long too long okay so just listen to some music and enjoy the rest of the video enjoy the little transformation Figured out by now. Tired of them bringing me down. It's automatic and it's tragic. Cause what matters? Every second that I lose, I wish I could get back to. okay guys so as you can see we're almost finished sister is just doing the eyes and uh, i am just going to step in with her contour and her highlighting and so forth so i just wanted to help because <laughs> 
this was supposed to be my job but for some reason you know yeah so as you can see i'm just adding my contour shade to her cheekbones and uh, my sister is just going to add some color to her lips because she has like very very pigmented lips like very pigmented like she is the epitome of african woman like she yeah even her mannerism and just the things that she likes she is like literally african she represents a strong african black woman like yes she's more african than me <laughs> yeah she's more african than me and she loves african movies like oh my gosh it's her passion yeah so i'm just highlighting her um nose bridge just so that her you know the her nose can pop and so forth and my sister just add some colored like pink nudie pinky lip gloss to her lips just to you know because we don't we didn't we weren't really going for the dark lips today but if we were going for the dark lips we would just leave her natural lip uh lip pigment because she naturally has that like she doesn't have to put anything on her lips for it to be dark it's just naturally dark and she doesn't smoke or anything like that it's just naturally dark yes some people just have naturally pigmented lips pigmented in terms of red or pigmented in terms of like really really dark but that's her natural lips she has full lips so it's perfect and uh, yeah this is me just highlighting her brow bones or this is my sister highlighting the next side but we're almost finished with the look and i'm telling you she loves this makeup she was feeling herself the entire time and she was just taking pictures i'm like i felt so good for her look at her oh my gosh but this is it for me guys hope you enjoy the video don't forget to like guys and subscribe see you in the next one bye bye